What's going on, Golf Busters? Today we're gonna to be talking about the Mevo Plus and its Pro Package. Now, if you're like me, you're probably thinking, what is the point of the Pro Package? It does not help the Mevo Plus read the golf balls any better. So what's the point of spending almost 50% of the price of the Mevo to get this Pro Package? If I'm, if I'm not gonna have golf balls read any better, what is the point of that? So today I'm gonna to review the Pro Package and tell you why it's an absolute must buy if you wanna improve your golf game and improve it very quickly. Now let's get into what the Mevo Plus Pro Package actually does. So it gives you a bunch of different data points. I'll put those on the screen right here. You can pause it, look at them. But basically there's three very important data points that's gonna help you improve your golf game very quickly. And those three main data points are club path, face angle, and face to path. Now let's break down a little further what each of those things do. So first up, we got club path. This is the angle your club is coming to the ball relative to a straight line at your target. So you can say here, if I come in to out, that's gonna cause a left spin. If I come out to in, it's gonna cause it to spin right, and that's important for predicting slices and hooks. Next up, we have face angle, which is just the angle of your club face at impact. And finally, we have face to path, which kind of combines the first two in a way, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But the real question you're probably asking, for $1,000, is the Mevo Plus Pro Package worth the money? Well, first off, it's actually under $1,000. If you use our code and link below, you can get the Mevo Plus or the Pro Package as cheap as possible. And second, I think it is 1,000% worth the money. Now, let me start off by saying, I think it is that beneficial to me improving my swing, figuring out my swing flaws, that if this was magically taken away from me, I would shell out the $1,000 to get this Pro Package. Now let's start with just an explanation of how the Pro Package works, and then we'll get into why I think it's such a beneficial tool to your golf game. So I'm actually a lefty, but I'm gonna reverse the video just so it's easier and makes more sense to everyone watching. So just a heads up with that. So let's hit a drive here. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at those numbers and we're gonna explain why it went the way it did. So when you look at the pro package here, you're gonna see my in to out is 2.6 degrees. Now that generally with a flat face would cause a hook, but I'm 4.1 degrees open. So what ends up happening, I'm more open than I am in to out. So if you look at that face to path in the top left corner there, it says 1.6 open. So that face to path is a combination of the two right there. So because I was on a 2.6 in to out path and I was four open. When you add those together, it actually ends up being somewhat of a square face to path. I'm only 1.6 degrees open. So you kind of subtract the in to out from the open and it would be the reverse if you were out to in and closed. So I only have 569 rotations of spin going to the right. Now, the reason it's gonna go 30 yards right is because it starts 4.1 degrees right and then you add the spin onto that. Now let's do one more just to explain it. I'm gonna to try to be out to in on this one. Okay, perfect. So I swung that light, but what you can see on that one, I'm 7.4 degrees out to in and I'm 1.3 degrees closed. So what ends up happening there? I'm way more out to in than that angle. So even though I start pretty close to center, my overall, when you add those two together, out to in, you subtract the close, and you're at 6.2 open, and that causes a ton of right spin on that one. And now the general rule for dead straight shots, you wanna take your path and divide that by two. So if I was out to in four degrees, I would wanna be about two degrees closed to end up with a dead straight shot. If I was in to out four degrees, I would wanna be about two degrees open to get a dead straight shot. Okay, so now that we understand that, let me show you why I think this tool is so useful. So I'm gonna hit a drive right now. I'm not gonna look at the pro package and I'm just gonna try to guess what I'm doing wrong. So that's a good one, terrible slice. And if I had to guess, you know, I don't really know. Am I very out to in? Did I leave the face super open? you're not really sure. So without the pro package, what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to guess what I need to do to fix it. And that could take me, you know, that could take you 100 shots, 200 shots, that could take 300 shots before you figure out, you know, what you're doing wrong. You're basically shooting in the dark, trying to figure out how to fix your swing. But now if I look at the pro package, I turn around and I go, okay, look at my path. My path is actually dead straight. That is totally workable. I'm 0.5 out to end, that's a really good path, but I was way open with my face. So now I know, okay, with my takeaway, I can do that takeaway pretty much the same, 
but I need to square the face at impact. Generally, the fix for me with open and closed, if I am very open, that means I'm shooting my hands way too far through, way too fast. If I'm very closed at impact, I'm probably not pulling the hands through enough. Now, let's hit another one where my path is off and I'll show you how I would fix that. Now, now this, is a, this is a great example of why I love the Pro Package. Right away, I can look at that swing and go, okay, this had a decent result, but the path isn't great. And so fundamentally, you just have way more risk to go way more offline when your path is that bad. And usually what I do to fix that is just my takeaway. If I want to come more out to in, I usually take it farther away from my body on the takeaway, and this is an exaggeration. If I wanna be more into out, I take it closer to my body. Now, for me, this is actually interesting. One of the videos I'm gonna release later, I hit 100 drives a day for a month, and my path actually started that bad. I started 10 degrees into out, and I was losing serious distance on it. So now let me show you. I've shown you kind of like how to fix the wrong. Let me show you a little more of like an average drive here. So now I'm just gonna to try to hit a really good one right straight down the center, and then I'll be able to tell you within, you know, instantaneously what I need to fix based on those numbers. All right, so looking at the pro package, I can see right away now, okay, my path was good. My path was good again, but I left my club face open. So now I would know, okay, if I wanna fix that, I'm probably shooting my hands through a little too fast. So I wanna bring the club face with it a little more and that will help me close that face up. And that felt good. So that one, much more playable. And if we look at those numbers, yep, right more spot on. Path is kind of right around where it's been. I was a little bit open on that, but you combine those two together, I'm only 1.4 open. And with 1.4 degrees open, you're gonna only get a little bit of rotation to the right. And that's a totally playable ball right there. Now, what I will say, if you're confused by the in to out, out to in, the combination of that, I will say the first couple of weeks, I was a little confused as well, but the more you do it, the more you look at it, it becomes second nature. So now I can look at it, know exactly what I'm doing, know exactly why things are going the way they are. And the main reason I'm telling you guys, this is worth the, the price tag is because I can fix my swing in an instant and know what's going on wrong, where, you know, if you don't have it, ball still reads great, everything reads great, but you're kind of shooting in the dark trying to fix your swing. Now, like I said, if you want to get the Mevo Plus or the Pro Package as cheap as possible, use our link and code below and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Golf Busters.